Okay, my fourth point is the ink that you use. As I said before, different inks have different characteristics. Uh, some are more watery and um, oftentimes they are suitable for fountain pens, the watery ones, and they might bleed more and others are thicker and may bleed less and you can uh, experiment and try. I can show you um, for example this uh, Noodler's Walnut Ink will feather quite a bit on the plain paper if you can uh, see that it's got tiny little hairs coming out of the line and that's the feathering, the bleeding. Wait, I need the light. Um, let's try another one that I know bleeds. This is um, Salo uh, Gen Gentle Chushu. It's beautiful uh, purple grey but it also bleeds. I hope you can see it, the feathering. And what you can do if you want to, if this bothers you and it does hurt even the training aesthetically, um, you can use a thicker ink. This one is a, this one is a Kaimei a drawing sole. And it doesn't bleed as bad. It does a little bit, but not so badly. And before I got these inks, it's all um, new. I had, I use, um, I use, um, I'm, I'm new at uh, copper plate, but I've been uh, drawing and lettering in my own style with uh, a dip pen for quite a while. And uh, a lot of time, because I want uh, different colors, I make my own concoctions and I use, look at this, it's uh, separated so it looks kind of disgusting, but once you mix it, it's good, good to go. So what I do is um, I use gouache and water and I have these little jars that I make my, my mixes in. A lot of times I add some ink as well. This one has ink and gouache and water and gum arabic. Um, this one specifically was, um, I made it for training so I didn't care about the shade and I just wanted a good consistency. And the gum arabic, it's a um, yellowish sort of fluid and it uh, thickens the um, paint that you use. You can use it on ink or with gouache or even with uh, watercolors if you want to use watercolors and it thickens it. It also takes longer to dry with the gum arabic and I think with the large quantities I didn't get to that it also creates a shine like the letters are a little uh, embossed on the paper. So you can use a um, concoction of your own making and this one will not bleed either. Bleed. So this is what I have to say about ink. Um, I'll see you I, hopefully at part 5.